everyone for taking the time to, um, I guess we we are recording this. So um, um, everybody yeah. got their little announcement. Um, I just want to th thank everybody for taking the time to get together. Um, you know, rather than this being just a, um, um, you know, kind of talking heads, Will Duncan from Duncan Commercial and John Adderholt from um, uh, Century is has joined, agreed to join me to, to spearheart this effort to try to get Corfac members that do retail to do more business together. So we are going to make this very interactive. When you're not um, speaking, make sure you mute, but we will ask everyone to do a little bit of introductions and then kind of um, share with us how we can do more um, tenant rep business together, how we can do more landlord rep business together and how we can make the most out of um, ICSC. Mm -hmm. And we'll finish up um, right at one o'clock and um, and I will start and just, um, I'm Lisa Christensen. My company is Christensen and Company Commercial Real Estate Services. We are based in Minneapolis and have a small office in Southwest Florida as well. Um, I started my career um, doing marketing for shopping centers. So we do um, all property types, but because of my longstanding history with retail, retail is a really big part of Christensen and Company's business. We do both landlord rep and tenant rep and are looking forward to doing more um, business with you all. And um, one of the things that um, I learned is that if you are to make sure that you have gone to the members only section of the website on your profile and indicated that you do retail, so that we can find ways to communicate with um, others in the organization that do retail. Um, just make sure your profile indicates that. Um, and with that, I'd like to turn it over to um, John Adderholt. John, um, thank you so much for agreeing to um, help with this effort to, yep. to do more business together. Yeah, and so just so we're all on the same page, Lisa, we are gonna go through and have at least every firm introduce themselves and talk about what they do, correct? Exactly. Yeah. And, and I, I think that's a great idea. So I think the big picture <laughs> idea here is that we do this regularly, maybe quarterly. And so if this is the first call, we need to kind of get a lay of the land and see what we're all working on and what we're doing. Uh, so um, with that said, we are based in Pittsburgh and we also have an office in nearby Pittsburgh in Wheeling, West Virginia. Uh, we do a little bit of everything, like a lot of core fact firms, we do retail. Um, mostly landlord representation. We represent uh, one major regional power center and then a, a number of uh, smaller uh, strip centers. And, and we also have done a, a fair amount of new development uh, representation, anything from under an acre to four acres. Uh, for example, we just wrapped up a Dairy Queen, Valvoline, Chipotle anchored strip that was four acres, stuff like that. Um, and, and we'd love to do more tenant rep. We do some tenant rep. Uh, we've actually had some help uh, through a core fact office, Jason Wolf and, and Quest. So we handle that in Western Pennsylvania. Jessica Jarose does that for us. Uh, we do represent some mom and pops uh, and, and um, we'd like to get in more with the franchisees and things like that. So I, I don't know how much you want us to share, Elisa, but that was my- I, I think that's perfect to start on. I think that's okay. perfect. Um, and then maybe we'll go to, to Will next. Good morning. I'm Will Duncan. I'm a partner in Duncan Commercial Real Estate in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, we've been a member of Corfac um, about three years. And I initially met Jonathan uh, when we were at ICSC. Uh, we go out every year and- um, so that's how we got connected with Corfact. Um, Louisville is an MSA of about 1.3 million. Um, our company does uh, property management and landlord and tenant rep. Um, I pretty much kind of grew up doing retail, um, but we do um, a lot of different facets from office to industrial. You know, one of our main specialties is land. Uh, we do a lot of work with developers. Uh, right now, Louisville is fortunate in that um, Publix is coming to our market. So it's kind of been a land rush. There are numerous Publix developers um, looking for sites in the market. So uh, we specialize in that. Um, one of my uh, co-workers is on the Planning and Zoning Commission here in Louisville. So we're really tapped into sites. 
and you know would love to work with the other Corpac offices, um, you know, on on retail projects. Uh, we also you know work with um, a company out of California called Dave's Hot Chicken. Uh, we're working with a franchisee here. They're a fast growing uh, franchise and. I have a good relationship with the real estate director, so I think there might be some opportunities for you know, other Corfac offices to help out with their franchise franchisee growth. Growth, and I think you know getting this group together on a regular basis, I think would be great for our communication um, as an organization as retail brokers. Okay, then we'd like to just I'll call on on folks to just uh, you know talk about you, your company, and. Um, and uh, what specialties and markets you serve. Josh raised his hand, he wants to go first. I'm super excited. <laughs> so Lisa and I actually, hopefully you guys can hear me. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Okay, good. So Lisa and I actually had um, a chance to meet at the previous uh, Corfac convention, not the one in Orlando, but prior to that. Unfortunately, guys, I must say, we are, there wasn't a big turnout for retail. So I'd encourage um, everybody to go to the convention so we have a bigger presence. Um, I'm with TRI Commercial. Um, I see a number of my associates on this call, which is fantastic. I'm going to let each one of you guys talk, but I'm a investment retail guy from the get-go um, through Corfac and my affiliation with all of you folks over the last 10 plus years, I've morphed into doing more than just retail. So um, <clears throat> that's because of Corfac directly. And um, we have offices in the San Francisco Bay Area. And unfortunately, it's a little rainy out today. So you're seeing me on that Um <laughs> But um, yeah, we're glad you put a shirt on. <laughs> yeah, I put a shirt on. That's right. Thank uh, God. <laughs> yeah, we, we do have a number of retail uh, associates that are on this call. I'll let them introduce themselves. But again, I'm in San Jose, Silicon Valley. Big news yesterday about a big bank that failed, which actually I have to tell you has affected me directly. I did have a referral from our Andover partners up in Seattle for an office space this morning. I heard that the client decided because of the news that was spread, he's no longer going to open an office in Silicon Valley. So about an hour ago, I was directly affected by that bank failure. So um, hopefully it won't trickle into the rest of our industry, but I'm, I'm sure it's going to. But um, a lot of you already know me and um, pleasure to be on the call. Uh, this is John Sexer, a TRI out of Walnut Creek, California. And uh, yeah, Silicon Valley Bank actually financed the first development deal that I put together so they are, uh, it is impacting everybody. <clears throat> I'm a tenant rep and landlord representation broker. I um, represent uh, several restaurants on an exclusive basis, along with you know, the likes of Panera Bread and a few others. Uh, I also represent uh, three different cities on a consulting basis and a regional mall on a consulting basis. And so we're busy up here and um, love to do a little more work with all of you. One of the reasons why some of us were at the Corfac meeting, it was, there was a Monterey um, ICSC convention uh, at the same time. So, uh, but we'll try to make the next one. Thanks, John. Um, John Dunning, do you want to go next? Sure. I'm, I'm also with TRI. Um, I'm out of the Oakland office. I have a chance to work with both Josh and Ron Willett and John Setcher, uh, all uh, in our several offices here in the Bay Area. I do tenant rep as well as landlord rep in retail active uh, currently in escrow with Panda Express on one of my sites uh, that they actually are purchasing. So excited to be working with you. I heard uh, Will, you mentioned Dave's Hot Chicken. Uh, Dave's Hot Chicken opened up here in Oakland and I can tell you they are thriving. Uh, it's been well received. And then also they're in another market I, I'm active in and that's in San Leandro. They just opened up there recently as well. So thrilled to hear that they're expanding across the land. Yes. We're working on um, our our franchisee has the Louisville and Lexington market, and we're working on a couple stores right now. But they have a fantastic product, and moving yeah. all over the country. So happy to work with uh, anyone here on uh, in, on Corfac that has QSRs in tow that want to be in this trade area. I'm 
know this landscape pretty well. So Oakland, MSA, as well as San Leandro. Glad to be here. Thank you, John. Is it George or Jorge? <laughs> Sorry, it's uh, Jorge. All right. Uh, my name is Jorge Chavria. Uh, I'm with TRI Commercial out of the Walnut Creek office. I work with John, I work with Josh, I work with Ron, and I work with uh, John Sexer and Marilyn. Um, we're a first service brokerage, but right now I'm in the training program, so I haven't really picked a specialty yet. So I'm kind of getting familiar with office, industrial, retail, multifamily, the whole gambit. So I'm just here as a more of an opportunity for me to learn and experience what court back and what being a member is like and how I can benefit from that in the long term. And uh, I'm excited to meet all you guys and get very familiar and, uh, you know, take a stride in learning. That is fantastic. Go retail, Jorge. <laughs> Sandy, do you want to go next? Uh, I'm Sandy Shulman from Shindico in Winnipeg, Canada. Uh, uh, our background is retail, uh, both development, uh, tenant rep, landlord rep and management. And uh, we have property management of about uh, 6 million feet of retail, uh, which generates a lot of opportunities for the brokers here. Uh, we're, we're currently selling a $70 million uh, strip that we've managed for like 25 years. Uh, so it's, it, things are still a little vibrant, a little tentative but vibrant. And uh, we've of course branched into multifamily and industrial like everybody else has up here. And one of the opportunities for Corfac offices, uh, I think is putting into some form of referral, people that we don't represent. We not, might not be fortunate enough to represent ABC company, but if we see that they're doing things uh, maybe we don't have a, have an in, but we could put it out to the group so it's somebody else to think about for their market. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mary Lindell. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Mary. I work um, with Lisa. Um, I specialize on the retail side. I represent both landlords and tenants, um, both locally and, and so a few nationals. And I agree. I think, you know, the meeting of the minds can be a great thing. It's not always what you know, it's who you know. And I think if we can collaborate on just, you know, who represents whom and, you know, who are the movers and players, I think that would be um, an awesome asset to Corvac as well as, you know, the individual companies. So. Thank you. Uh, Ron. Can everybody hear me? We can. Morning, everybody. Um, I'm, I'm Ron Willett uh, with TRI Commercial out of the Wallet Creek office. Um, work here with um, Jorge and Josh. Um, John Sexter and I do, do a lot of work together. Um, also uh, done, done working on some projects with Josh Gispen down in our Silicon Valley office. Um, had the pleasure of working with uh, John Dunning in, in Oakland. Um, do a primarily landlord rep here in the Bay Area. Also um, some, some tenant rep. Um, John Sexer and I have um, several restaurant clients uh, that are keeping us pretty busy right now. So that's definitely one sector of, of retail that um, has definitely come back with a, with a bang after COVID. And so that's been very um fortuitous for both of us and, and encouraging to see see that that sector retail doing so well and um, excited to uh, to get to know a few more a few more folks um, through Corfac. Um, I, I got to meet Jonathan Salk at uh, ICSC Las Vegas last year. Um, would have loved to have attended the conference down in Florida as John mentioned. Um, we're, we were both at an ICSC of Monterey event uh, here in California that was taking place at the same time. Um, but uh, I, I do look forward to getting to know as many people as possible, um, particularly, and this is very encouraging to see um, this, this call happening for our particular product type for, for retail. Um, most of the um, calls I've seen, I, I know there's a lot of office and, and industrial deals that are done through Corfac, but this is very encouraging. And I look forward to this um, hopefully happening on an ongoing basis going forward um, to create some opportunity for, um, you know, for some cross, cross collaboration between markets and um, just to really leverage our 
our network that we have through Corefaca for for our uh, particular retail products. So this is this is great. And um, just um, to kind of piggyback on what Josh was saying about um, the effects we've been seeing um, from what's happened with with Silicon Valley Bank out here in the um, in the Bay Area, particularly uh, Silicon Valley. Um, I've actually been um, personally affected by it. I know Josh mentioned that uh, um, he's seen it happen with what um, with his client um, putting expansion um, expansion plans on hold. Um, one of my oldest childhood friends actually works at Silicon Valley Bank. Um, he and his wife have a one-year-old daughter and they just bought a house about six months ago. So um, I texted a little bit back and forth with him over the weekend, didn't really say much, um, but I can't imagine what he's going through right now. But suffice it to say that these um, these last few days have not been fun for him or um, any of the rest of the employees as they kind of are hanging in limbo to find out what happens here. So, um, but in any case, let's all, let's all band together and um, looking forward to, uh, to working with uh, all of our affiliates through Corfac at some point here. Hey, Lisa. Yeah. I want to make one comment that a lot of us have neglected. My oldest friend on this call, who also works in our Walnut Creek office, his name is Fernando Cuevas. And I'd like Fernando to introduce himself. Brandon All right. and I worked he would... together a long time ago. Thanks, Josh. Yeah, we uh, we spent our first 10 years in the business together at a small boutique company. And uh, then I went over to a, a, a regional company that turned into Newmark. And now I'm super happy to be at uh, TRI Commercial. Um, uh, love the independent way better than the corporate um, for my personality anyway. So I'm relatively new to Corfac, um, new to TRI in the last couple few years. And um, uh, again, like others have said, I'm, I'm encouraged by the fact that we're just having this call because a lot of times retail is, <laughs> for a lot of years, retail was considered to be a little bit of a stepchild. So I, um, I am, uh, I'm encouraged and it's just funny how things go cyclical. Now everybody's talking retail, retail again. So that's uh, that's nice to hear. So I look forward to um, engaging and getting to know more people uh, through the Corfac organization, hopefully do some business. I, I specialize primary in landlord, a lot of independent landlords with mul multiple properties and stuff like that here in the Bay Area. So. Thank you so much. Thank you. John Petty. Hey everybody. I am uh, one of the new kids on the block. I'm with Southeast Venture and uh, we're here in Nashville. So we're excited to be a Corfac member now. Jonathan has uh, been to our office and uh, we've uh, really enjoyed. We had about six or seven brokers that made the trip down to Orlando and they, they came back and just had a great time. We had a company meeting last week and uh, a couple of them got up and talked about the great experience they had. I unfortunately wasn't able to go, but um, so we're, we're super excited. Uh, so I come to you from the home of uh, the birthplace of uh, hot chicken. So I don't know much about Dave's hot chicken, but uh, um, he must be doing something right for you guys to <laughs> be bragging about it. But uh, I do everything on the retail side. Our company, uh, about half of our transactions are retail every year. And uh, I'm kind of the director of our retail. I'm a, I'm, I'm a partner in our firm. We've got about 50 employees. So we're kind of a small local shop. We uh, we've been around about 45 years. I've been here 17 of those years. Uh, before that, I was in the restaurant industry, uh, both on the operation side and management side. And so uh, I tend to have a food and beverage background, but we do everything from development. We represent institutional landlords and power centers. We do small strip center retail. We represent tenants. And um, if uh, any of you have anything, uh, any clients that are looking in Nashville, it's a really tight market right now. A lot of a lot of people know that, but some people, uh, I talk to people from out of town every week that are trying to penetrate our market. I think our vacancy rate on retail is about three percent, um, and I think industrial and uh, industrial is less than that. So it's it's been it's been an interesting ride here in Nashville uh, just to see the growth of the market. I'm actually you know from from Nashville. And to see how it's grown uh, from just being a really, really small second, third tier market to, to now people put us in that, you know, a, a minus market. And uh, so it's been it's been 
a blessing to be a part of that growth here in Nashville, but excited to see all the retail people on, on here. I uh, cleared my schedule to, to get on here, and I know Corfax is a little bit more well-known, as we all know, for the industrial office side. And uh, that was a big reason why we did join. Um, but uh, um, knowing that we have this retail presence, too, is pretty exciting for me. So I would love to help out anybody that's got a client looking in Nashville and then to have this coverage across the country, especially out in California. Uh, we do have clients from time to time. Uh, I just got a we had we had somebody looking in Indianapolis. Unfortunately, we don't have <laughs> a core fact relationship in Indianapolis, so we're trying to figure out who we go to up there. But um, uh, for an for an industrial uh, office deal. But uh, anyway, good to see everybody on here. I know there's a lot more people that need to chime in. But nice to meet everybody. Hope to yeah. see you in Vegas. And if I can just piggyback on something John just said, um, if if there are mar and we don't have a lot of markets where we don't have offices. But if there's a market we don't and you're looking for somebody, please call me because there's a lot of firms that I prospect and work with. And who knows that, you okay. know, one deal, one deal might turn them, so to speak. OK, I'll send you an email and connect you on what we're doing after, after we're done. Thank you. All right, Laura Gill. Hi, I'm Laura Gill. Nice to meet you. I'm also with Christensen and Company. I've been with. Lisa, since 2005, so it's been a long journey so far. Uh, I also work on retail and some office and land, and uh, I'm going to be in Las Vegas for ICSC with, at the Corfac booth. So for those of you that are going to that, I look forward to meeting you there. I'm This year, I'm the ICSC Marketplace Council Director before that, I was the government relations director for the Upper Midwest. So, hope to see you there. We look forward to it. Thanks, Laura. Phil. Good morning, everybody. Can you hear me? I can. Am I coming through? You are. All right. Good to see everyone here. Also good to see everybody in the Orlando conference. And uh, I'm with Commercial Properties Incorporated here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, funny enough, we've been with Corfac for about 28 years and I'm celebrating my 11th year hanging out with Corfac. And I do uh, have a whole team, me, myself and my partner. Um, he does the tenant rep side, I do the investment side. Uh, we do a lot of retail. We also do some industrial and some office. Um, on the investment side for me, I am finding that a lot of my investors are open to looking outside of Arizona. So I'm excited to work with hopefully all of you people. If you have any listings um, for investments that you can send over to me, I'm putting these in front of my investors on a daily basis. Um, and uh, Jorge, glad you're on the uh, the call. It's a uh, Corfax has been awesome, and uh, the relationships and the best practices are amazing. So uh, you uh, should get a lot of value out of this group. Keep it short and sweet. Thanks. Okay. Thank, yeah, that's perfect, Phil. Thanks. Um, Carolyn. I assume you're calling me. <laughs> yeah, is that Caroline or Caroline? Caroline, Caroline. yeah. Caroline, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, it's all right. <laughs> I'm with TRI uh, also and out of the uh, Roseville office. And um, I do uh, landlord and tenant rep and investment. Um, I have several listings in the, what's called the Little Saigon area in South Sacramento. So I have a, a niche in the Asian market. Uh, I'm, I'm an Asian by descent. And uh, I purposely put my uh, maiden name on the sign so people will know that I'm Asian. So they call me and it's been working. So, and, um, and they just feel comfortable, you know, even though I don't necessarily speak Vietnamese, I, I speak Chinese. And, um, and I also do investment, but uh, I, I've been busy uh, this year, you know, considering what the economy is like. And there's a lot of people looking for spaces, especially restaurants, interestingly. So uh, we're always looking for second generation restaurants and uh, there's not a lot to be had. 
unfortunately. Um, but anyway, we're busy. So that's, that's a good thing. So anyway, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, ben. You caught me mid lunch. Speaking of Publix, <laughs> I'm eating a public sub. So uh, <laughs> sorry about that. So I'm Ben. I'm in the Orlando market. Good to see a lot of you guys last week. Thanks for coming down. Um, like a lot of core fact, mainly do office and industrial. I'd say it's 80%, 20% retail. So we do have a couple of landlords, um, small regional strip centers, uh, you know, mainly local investors, real estate attorneys who hold retail type properties. Um, and then in my network, I do get a lot of connections on the tenant rep side for retail. So I've done a few smaller footprint deals in that realm as well. Um, so really just mainly here to learn from you guys who do a lot more of this and see what kind of tips and tricks I can pick up from the group. So thanks for having me. All right, um, Ian. Hello, I'm Ian BG with Capacity Commercial Group out of Portland, Oregon. I work a lot on the local independent landlord side. Our office is traditionally a lot of industrial office brokers. I was part of a smaller boutique firm that merged about one week before the COVID shutdown and was focused, our smaller office was all retail investment land sales and, and retail leasing. Um, do a lot of, like I said, local landlord stuff, some smaller tenant stuff, but our retail team has a lot of large tenant rep deals as well as you know regional larger landlords as well. Uh, we just won the local retail team of the year award for the fifth year in a row. So we're pretty well versed for anything Portland, Oregon and happy to have conversations. I will be in Las Vegas as well. So I wanted to hop on, kind of get a little lay of the land and look forward to meeting some of you there. Awesome, Christina. Sorry about that. Having a little computer issues. Can't figure out why my screen's not um, showing me. At any rate, um, Christina Snyder. I've been with uh, TRI Commercial for a little over six years. I uh, was with uh, Kimco Realty Corporation for nine years. And then I worked with Ethan Conrad, a local owner, for about 18 months prior to coming over to TRI Commercial, which I just love. I Predominantly focused on retail, uh, but I also have done uh, some office, industrial flex, and some land for development. But mostly I just uh, try and work on retail and I represent landlords, I represent tenants, and I also do um, acquisition sales. Um, that's about it. I was at Corfac down in Orlando and um, enjoyed the opportunity of meeting a bunch of people and trying to um, figure out how to utilize uh, Corfac more. Wonderful. Um, Teddy. Hello. Hey, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon to some. Um, Teddy Swain with TRI out of our Walnut Creek office. We're well represented this morning. Um, I mainly do uh, investments some light industrial and mixed use work uh, out in the Bay Area uh, here in California. And I do have clients that uh, are looking at different MSAs across the country, um, selling property here and exchanging into deals elsewhere. So just wanted to see the faces, uh, see some of the deal flow. We're looking at triple net retail um, across the country. So um, I'll be in touch with you guys going forward. Thank you Teddy, so much. What was your last name again? Teddy Swain, S-W-A-I-N. Okay. And Marilyn. Good morning, everyone. Marilyn Hansen. Uh, I've been a retail broker for about 35 years in the Bay Area. I've been with TRI in Walnut Creek, California for about four years. And I really specialize in tenant rep. Uh, I've done a lot of restaurants, financial institutions, gas station work. Uh, I have a special emphasis on disposition with corporate tenants. I've disposed of 150 gas stations for Shell Oil Company in four states. I have worked with the Rite Aid Corporation for 25 years, both on acquisition and disposition side. 
and nice to meet you all. So fun. You've, uh, you've got a few things you can teach all of us, I think. So um, did I miss anyone? I think I've got everybody that I can see here. If I missed anyone, go ahead and speak up. And if not, I think we'll um, we'll go to John. And what we're going to do for the, the remaining 20 minutes or so here is just um, spend a little time talking about how we can do more um, work together on, on the landlord rep side first. And then um, we'll, we'll talk a little bit on the tenant rep side. And then, and then I will spearhead the discussion on how we can um, make the best use out of our time at ICSC in Las Vegas. So with that, I'll turn it over to John. Thanks, Lisa. Yeah, and again, we, we're we trying to figure out how useful we can be for each other. That's always part of the core fact goal. So some of this might be really obvious, but sometimes I've discovered that, you know, you don't think of things uh, in terms of introductions that, that might be right in front of you. So this is just kind of off the top of my head. So again, this is interactive. Um, it's not, I mean, I've took notes, it's not totally from the top of my head, but uh, just, just thinking through, uh, property management is a, is a big way that from a landlord rep side, uh, we can get to know tenants and make introductions. I think the other, the other cousin to that is sort of the, the retail triple net investment side. We're really active in that space. And we try to stay with our investment buyers, especially if they're buying not single tenant, triple net lease, but more uh, strip centers and things like that, because there's leasing opportunities and uh, things along those lines. So I think when our landlords start to travel, that's when we need to be thinking of Corfac and who we can use. Um, and, and another big thing, I, I just kind of realized I, we know a couple of preferred contractors that are moving all over the country. We need to talk to them, see where they're active. I and mean, for example, uh, Franjo Construction out of Pittsburgh has built Aldi, Aldi's all over, all over America. And, and we're really close with them for a variety of reasons going back seven, eight, nine years. So I need to sit down with their business development person and say, hey, where are you building these? Do you need any help? Just, just trying to find any angles. Uh, obviously preferred developers will often move to into other regions. So if you're repping any of those, be mindful. Uh, the another example I brought up on our, our small call prior to this, uh, Will, we talked about sheets. They're expanding. They're a really great sea store fueling station concept. They're in about seven states and, and, and very big, growing kind of on the East Coast, Mid Atlantic, now getting into the Midwest. Uh, we have a great long standing relationship with sheets. While we don't exclusively rep them, uh, we've done a number of sheets deals and um, know, know their top folks very well. And I've already introduced them to some folks over the years and I would love to do that for, for Corfac firms. Uh, so, yeah, you know, Will, you mentioned you were active in land. So I had that thought. Um, I, I think the, the pro, there's a variety of things when we're repping landlords, we may not, I know this is the landlord rep section. So we're not talking about tenant rep here. But when we're repping landlords, we have a lot of strong relationships. We do a lot of maybe repeat business with uh, retail tenants. And, and so sometimes it's not as great as, oh, I exclusively control this tenant and they're moving into your geography, here you go. I mean, that's obviously wonderful. But when that's not happening, um, we can share notes. And we've done a lot of transactions, a lot of repeat business with everyone ranging from you know, Starbucks to Chipotle, um, we're, we recently did a Hobby Lobby deal and, and we're working on home goods. And, and if some of you are just getting into retail, maybe for the first time, use the Corfac network. We probably, if we all shared notes, we probably know just about everybody. And, and I know a lot of our firms uh, maybe are only doing a fraction of their business in retail and want to do more. And I think that's where we can help each other uh, when, when we're trying to get into more retail. That's sort of what I have for how we can parlay landlord rep into more core fact business. If anyone else has any thoughts, this would be the time to chime in.
Well, Lisa, should we move into tenant rep? Yeah, I'm just wondering what in regards to the landlord rep, <clears throat> if it makes any sense to um, have everyone kind of put together a list of all of the landlord rep <clears throat> groups that you work with uh, that could potentially do business outside of your market and see if there is an opportunity to, to share that information as well. The, and I think that's especially <laughs> common with your more investment oriented landlords. But again, some there, there are some that, that go anywhere. A lot of landlords are going to stay local and regional, but more and more aren't. So I think that's a good point. So Lisa, you're saying kind of offline, we, we put together a list and, and see if anyone's repping any expanding, growing landlords. Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking that if everyone was to kind of look at, at, at their, you know, listings and, and then their past mm -hmm. clients and look at any that had been in other markets and just reconnect with them on that level and um, just remind them that we have, and maybe there's some introductions that can be made accordingly. I think that's a good idea. Anybody else have any other ideas? Otherwise, we can go to Will and talk a little bit about tenant rep, which I think is because there's even more opportunity in that for all of us. And well, we just need you to unmute. You know, kind of dovetailing what you said about, you know, a list of landlords that we represent. It would be nice to have kind of a, a working list of tenants that we represent collectively, you know, so that if I have a need in my market, um, I know who to call at Tri Commercial if they've been working with the same company. You know, it kind of helps us with a warm introduction, um, and I think that would be real valuable too to kind of have a you know living document where we could enter who we're working with so that people in the group know. Um, and in my past life, I was an NAI business director for a company here in Louisville, and you know we have um, Yum is headquartered here. Um, at the time it was KFC and kind of dovetailing on what Marilyn said, you know, we did a lot of dispositions for KFC, older restaurants, and um, I worked on assigning those out to other NAI offices. Um, I think, you know, from a you know, tenant rep side, you know, that's certainly a possibility because we have, we're represented in what, 85 markets in the United States, Jonathan? Sorry about that. Uh, actually, uh, low 70s. Low 70s. So, yeah. you know, there are a lot of us who have, you know, companies that are headquartered, you know, in their various markets that have footprints, you know, outside. Um, and there certainly could be you know, opportunities to um, develop relationships there. And when they have needs, you know, you know we could refer them out to other four pack offices. Um, so I, you know, really, you know, enjoying this conversation because I think the more we're connected and um, we can talk about, you know, tenants whom we're working with, um, you know, right now, you know, my company, we're working with, you know, Freddie's Steak Burgers, Seven Brew, as I mentioned, Dave's Hot Chicken. Um, and as example, it, um, I've had, um, you know, discussions with Jeff Eichhorn in the Cincinnati office about some projects he's working on and trying to, you know, connect them um, with some of these users uh, to help fill some needs that he has. So I, I think, you know, this, the more we talk about, you know, who we're working with and ask the question of our clients, you know, where are you going next? Do you have a need in San Francisco? Do you have a need, you know, in Cincinnati? Um, just ask that question. You never know what will come up um, in your discussions. And, you know, from the investment side, you know, um, our cap rates in the Louisville market are a lot higher than, than a lot of other markets. We had the opportunity to work with Brian Wirt of Tri Commercial uh, last year and, and helped one of his clients purchase uh, a Taco Bell um, in the you know, outside Louisville market that uh, we did the land work for him and um, sold a brand new you know, restaurant to one of his clients. So, um, we'd love to you know, keep up the communication with this group because I think there's lots of opportunities. Any other thoughts about how we can um, share opportunities in the tenant rep side of things? This might be broader than just tenant rep, but, and it might be a question for Jonathan. Do, 
we're still relatively new at Corfac. Do, do, do we ever do regional meetings or regional breakouts when we're in our uh, bigger conferences? So, no, we don't. I mean, since I've been here about eight years, we, we've never done that. Mm -hmm. um, we did start doing regional conferences last year. We did one in St. Louis, which went well, and we're planning on doing one um this year as well but the date and location has not been selected okay that, that might be a way to help i think retail tends to be somewhat regional uh, unless we're into the investment sales so that might be an opportunity i know we were brainstorming just in orlando with a couple of neighboring offices maybe we should get together it's good to know that some are doing that maybe maybe breakouts regional breakouts is something to put on the potential agenda. I feel like retail opportunities could naturally come out of that once we're getting to know our neighbors better. Hey, John. I think that's um, a good point. That, that's a very good point. And I think that those that attended the last conference, uh, Jonathan and HQ sent around a questionnaire the other day and suggesting any new topics as well. That's a great idea for a regional uh, breakout mm -hmm. session. Um, for retail. Again, though, guys, we got to get more people showing up for retail. Um, that's the key. I think this call here is the, the beginning of what we can create. And um, good to see the participation on this call. So, um, especially from Try. <laughs> yeah. We got, we got a lot of people. <laughs> at, at, you know, not only our Bay Area <laughs> office, but the two gals from. Um, our Roseville office as well. So um, great, great to have a, the turnout that we did for us, as well as everybody else. There are um, 11 firms. Oh, go ahead, Will. I was just going to say at the um, Orlando conference, I moderated the um, retail table. And I think there were, you know, six people at the table. And I looked over at the industrial and office, and they had like four or five tables. So you know, definitely as a group, we could do a better job of, um, you know, getting to the conventions and, and getting together, you know, in mass. And I think it's okay to acknowledge that Corfac is historically stronger in an in industrial and office. And then where, where we have firms and individuals who are active in retail, it's important that they network and get together so we can expand that. So we have 11 firms that have committed to being a sponsor for um, the ICSC um, convention. And um, I've been going out to Las Vegas for like 30 years and it, it's daunting every year. <laughs> it gets maybe more daunting as the older I get. Um, but I think um, we're in Central Hall, um, number 2576K. Um, and so um, I think, you know, it's it's important that we um, you know connect in different ways um, in Las Vegas and and kind of make some introductions. Um, perhaps we can send around um, some lists of 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 the um, landlords and and tenants that we're working with ahead of time, and and maybe we'll work with staff to kind of put that together. But um, to the extent that some introductions can be made in that you know at ICSC, that would be fantastic. What other thoughts? Um, do you, um, would you, do you see, um, you know, the, the Las Vegas convention, um, being able to, um, you know, what, what are the things can we be doing there to, you know, get the word out as to who Corfac is and help each other with some business in Las Vegas, any ideas? How many, how many of you are are going to be in Las Vegas? Is everybody going to be there? Yes. 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 Is there is there anything that you see we should have think that we should have at the booth? Um, Jonathan, we'll have um, so we'll have a we have a corner booth with with a nice location in Central Hall, and 
we'll have a list or a, a big container of everybody's business cards. Is there anything else that you think we should have um, at the booth? Um, this this is from Ron Willett, TRI Commercial out of Walnut Creek. Um, something that uh, might be really valuable, at least speaking as primarily a, a landlord broker, and just given that we've got various um, firms from around the country on this call, um, if um, each, each company might be able to put together some kind of a, of a tenant roster uh, from, from the, the tenant rep side of things to kind of facilitate that conversation about um, matching tenants up with properties or, you know, in, in markets where they may have a requirement um, to kind of you know, educate us as landlord brokers as to what tenants are out there and might be might be looking on a more national basis. Um, I think that would be a, a pretty um, a, a pretty effective way to, to facilitate conversations and, and maybe try and um, create some some opportunity to, uh, to to do some business together. Great suggestion. Lisa, you you were not at Vegas last year with Corfac, correct? Correct. Okay. That last year was our first year, and I would consider the the Corfac booth to be like a functional booth. It's not glitzy or glamorous, but our signs were all well placed. Walking by, you know, oh look, there, there there's our name and sign. So if you were doing business with someone and they were meeting you at the Corfac booth, it it felt good. It, it had credibility, uh, but it's not at all one of those booths where you're like, oh, look, free this and that, and there's a waterfall and, you know, fireworks, JLL fireworks and stuff, <laughs> not, not that they ever did that, but I did see a waterfall one year. Um, so ours is the kind of the opposite of that. It, it's, a, it's a functional kind of a pragmatic situation, but I was fine with it. Uh, I thought it was good, um, but I kind of defer to, more marketing people if it's a good use of core fact resources to to give away stuff um maybe it is uh but maybe maybe it's not i really don't know um i don't know jonathan if you've been going for a while and feel like you've gotten some positive tangible um results from from some of the uh, the st giveaways uh, then we should keep doing it but if not maybe we can scale back yeah i mean we'll do something um, and you know, it's, it's not cheap to do it because you want to get at least a couple hundred, you know, so you have, you have plenty to, to hand out. And as I think I said to you, John, before everybody joined is people liked what we gave away. Now, did it result in someone looking at their notebook later on and going, oh, I should call someone at Corfac to do business with. I, I don't know. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's nice to have something to give away. And, and as a staff, we'll, we'll kind of look at costs and figure out my, what might be the best. But, you know, I got to say, um, I think this will be the fifth year we've been back uh, with the booth. And every year we've improved, improved our lie, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got a great location now. And John, you're right. It's, it's not glitzy, but it's, it's functional. We go all so, electric by 20 it works well, and uh, I'm proud to say that uh, Will and John, we we got you to be part of the network because we met you at ICS. Yeah, so. yeah that's true. Question for you, Jonathan. How do we go about if we want to schedule meetings, and um, how are you going to handle that? So I've got something that I, I will send out to everybody that's going to be part of the booth, let's say no later than a month before the show. And it allows you to to um, go in and schedule your schedule your meeting. So we have we will have four tables in the booth. Each table has four chairs. Uh, we will schedule meetings. You know, I'll be there early. I mean, so we could start as early as eight thirty and go till five o'clock, and we'll do them at 30, 30 minute intervals. So you'll be able to go in, Will, and just say, you know, uh, Duncan commercial from 10 to 10.30. Okay. And you'll have a big Corfax sign with the newer logo and all that ready to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, we're working with them now. And um, yeah. Exactly. The name and recognition think, is important. I don't want to dismiss yeah. 
that Absolutely. the value of giving away stuff for name recognition because that can that can help. Yeah, uh, just a question. I agree. Yeah. Does is there somebody manning the booth at all times? So you're there the whole day. Oh yeah, yeah. For the most part. Okay. Well, if he goes to the bathroom and we're hanging out there, someone I, I sat, I manned the booth for a little bit, gave a couple pens away and booklets. Yeah, and occasionally, Lisa. I mean, I have meetings booked with potential new firms. You know. Or, well, I would encourage you to call on us to help fill in those gaps, so someone's there and we can kind of, sure. you know, be working it because you know I think there's some benefit to that too. I, I, I won't have like the go-go boots and the mini skirt on like <laughs> some of the people that work those boots I, do. But, I will. Um, Lisa, those are, I those are hired good. people. That, right. No, I understand what they are. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, there's been some pretty crazy things over the years. Um, what about like for trinkets and trash, if we were to bring our, you know, our own company stuff to give away? Absolutely. Yeah, fine. Hey, right. so I'm really excited to have a booth. Commercial properties is going to be there as well. I think we have three brokers going. I can't make it on this one, but I do know that every year our marketing director, Jason Price, he prints out all of our retail listings. I did like the idea of us including maybe a list of all of our tenants we're working with, um, but maybe instead of only having it available just at the ICSC, I would think maybe we could probably provide all of you all of our retail listings and our tenants uh, to the entire retail group. Yeah, I think that's a little bit of an undertaking, but I think that's super valuable. I think for all of us to be sharing which landlords are working with. In, in the Minneapolis market, we have a quarterly meeting with all the tenant rep brokers from all the other firms. And we actually go through all the tenants that we're working with and what the requirements are. And then they run back and tell the landlord reps. And I mean, we have a really cooperative market in Minneapolis, but it's super helpful. I think we should also- We'll work on we trying compile, to put that together. Go ahead. I think what we should also do when we compile those lists, for example, we do landlord or tenant representations for our clients. I think what we should do is we should categorize them. So we shouldn't just put them all in one big list. We should rank them based on the, you know, their likeliness of expansion or their likeliness of being regional, you know, sort of like an A through, you know, A through D system. You know what I mean? And then put them, you know, say A is the highest, most likely to expand, you know, outside of the regional area. And then, you know, on the other end, we can put this is the most localized, you know, localized client we have. See what I mean? I think that's a great suggestion. Yep. And that's from our new guy. Well, we need we need new eyes to kind of look at things um, a little different than us old dogs. <laughs> Just for him to stop playing with his pencil, but that's okay. No, that's good because you think more <laughs> when you're when you're doodling or you're fidgeting. You think better. We can get well, those. We just. <laughs> <laughs> just you just Joe. triggered something in my mind, Lisa. We could get those little <laughs> fidget things and get right? them out of both. <laughs> Diamond fidget spinners. Let's do it. <laughs> they say when you speak it to a large group, you should provide them with that because if they're fidgeting with something, they, they pay better attention, right. especially boys. <laughs> Well, I think these are all great suggestions. We have like just a couple minutes left. Does anyone have any other thoughts? I think that um, it would be nice to have these meetings regularly. Um, should we ha break them out into landlord and tenant? Should we keep all, you know, I love the talk of what's going on with the bank. There's a, you know, there's, I think some lease language and some things that are kind of retail um, specific that are issues that would be great to know how you're, handling like language in the lease after the pan and those kinds of things mm -hmm. that's a good idea we could almost if we do this say quarterly or whatever the plan might be uh different people could just kind of take turns saying hey here's what i've done uh the the last quarter if it, it, it could be useful just for stuff like that that comes up i know when we were in the pandemic sharing notes was really important for lease language and modifications for the retailers
so quarterly meetings, should we keep them all together? Or would you like to break out into certain sections or should we just have different, um, just different topics of conversation? I mean, my perspective as a non-practitioner is this is a pretty manageable group right now. So I think if you keep it kind of all in for now, but it, you know, hopefully this doubles at some point and then maybe you consider breaking it out. Makes sense to me. We're going to need like a retail committee or something to pick topics, et cetera. Jonathan, is that something that you kind of organize? Um, I mean, we, so we could do one of two things to come immediately to mind is, you know, Lisa, John, and Will, I mean, if you're kind of willing to, you know, be the leads on this going forward, you know, we, we could brainstorm with you about what you want to see going forward or just do a survey of the members and or just the retail folks and ask them what's important to them right, right then. That'd be good. We could start there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely willing to do whatever I can mm -hmm. to keep this going and gain momentum because this is super helpful to me to know you guys. Not that I don't want to add more committees, John. <laughs> <laughs> so the let's leave it with the fact that we will see everyone in um, in Las Vegas and um, and then. Um, we will plan to um, have another call like this in June, if that's okay. Yeah, and I got to say, I believe this call would have been a little, and the audience here has been great. Thank you for being here. Um, I think it would have been bigger, but I can't tell you how many out of office, and I'm guessing spring break type <laughs> announcements I got when I when we sent out the note, so. Lisa, I have a question. Yeah. What about, you know, prior to ICSC, if, you know, everyone who's going to ICSC, yeah. maybe we have a Zoom call and kind of get connected, talk about what we're doing and kind of have a game plan as a group. I would love that. So um, kind of late April, or like a month ahead of time. I think that would be a great, great idea if we could pull it together and get everyone on the call who's going to ICSC and we could all have a Zoom call and just kind of talk strategy, what we're doing, you know, uh, who we have meetings, we're working on getting scheduled. Um, I, I think it could be helpful to, to all involved. I think that's great. Is that something that we can do, um, staff, Corfax staff? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a good idea just to let you know, and, and you should not revolve this around my schedule, but I am going to be out from about April 24th, coming back May 8th. So uh, my wife and I are going away for our 40th anniversary, believe it or not. Wow, and, congratulations. Uh, wow. Thank you. Are you old? Yeah. <laughs> well, not, not as old as you, Sandy, I don't think. Well, I'm... I'm, I'm... How, how many years have I been married? <laughs> That's a that. problem. <laughs> that, That's a, that in so, and of itself is a problem. <laughs> so my, my point is, if we wanted to do it for, so I could be there, and again, I don't have to be there, but yeah. the week before the 24th, whatever that is, and I think it would probably be too late after I get back to do it, so... You to get some dates. Uh, how are you, Ron? That's a how great suggestion. Out? Yeah, we'll throw some, we'll throw some out as a staff. Well, thanks everybody. So appreciate um, the time and John and Will. Uh, you know, thanks for jumping in and just making this go so well. Really appreciate staff as well and. Um, Look forward to doing a lot more deals um, with Carfax members. Thank you, Lisa, for Thank being you. on point. Thanks. Thank Have you. Have a great day. Thank you, everyone. You too. Thanks.